dear friends welcome to this edition of vbs neuro med a series of study at home videos called lockdown lectures this series in neuroanatomy is called corona radiata it's because the word corona radiata is to symbolize the current pandemic of covid that we are going through these are pre dissection videos we hope that the classes will start soon and we could have these practicals in neuroanatomy as soon as possible meanwhile i wish all of you safety in health and uh, i hope you will make use of this videos and get ready for the neuroanatomy classes the topic in neuroanatomy in this particular uh, session is ventricles of the brain part 2 that is lateral ventricle part 2 anterior and the posterior horn remember in part 1 we have already covered the body of the lateral ventricle now we are covering the anterior and posterior horn in a later video part 3 the inferior horn will be separately covered i am dr balasubramanyam professor department of anatomy st john's medical college bangalore india let's take a short uh, session through mcqs related to this topic i may be a little fast but i suggest students pause the video for each mcq study in detail clearly identify an answer and then proceed further here is a horizontal section through the cerebrum at the level of the interventricular foramen identify the pointed structure very clearly seen in this uh, uh, photograph are the lateral ventricles the third ventricle and uh, more posteriorly the posterior horn of the lateral ventricle a lot of structures in and around the ventricles also therefore this is a multi purpose slide second mcq there is a structure being pointed there is a flashing arrow there identify that structure identify that structure third mcq here is a coronal section i repeat this is a coronal section there is an arrow mark flashing identify which part of the lateral ventricle this is or which component related to the lateral ventricle this is mcq number 4 this is yet another coronal section the section is slightly posterior to the previous coronal section identify the pointed structure i repeat identify the pointed structure last mcq yet another photograph of a horizontal section of the cerebrum probably at a lower level than the interventricular foramen there is a very prominent structure there marked by that arrow identify that particular structure now let's move on to the discussion part of the video let's go through the anterior and the posterior horn first the anterior horn you see that line across the horizontal section is a rough line of demarcation the part in front of it is the anterior horn that's what we are going to cover now now you see there are 
three arrows flashing the lowermost arrow is the septum pellucidum this the single arrow on the right side on the other side there are two arrows bounding the anterior horn in front is the genu of the corpus callosum in the midline and its extension of commissural fibers is the forceps minor i repeat genu and the forceps minor they virtually form the anterior boundary next the left over arrow is the caudate nucleus the left over arrow is the caudate nucleus head of the caudate forms the third boundary so septum pellucidum genu and the head of the caudate nucleus are the three boundaries of the anterior horn next this is a coronal section of the anti through the anterior horn specifically across the genu of the anterior horn here you can see the large head of the caudate nucleus it's a little behind this plane of section the corpus callosum is the roof the genu is the anterior wall i repeat the genu is the anterior wall next once again this is a section a little behind the uh, genu but not too far back it's it's immediately behind the bend or the genu so that the septum pellucidum is very clearly seen both the ventricles are apparent in that black area the edge of it is slightly glowing in yellow the head of the caudate nucleus can be seen the topmost arrow refers to the corpus callosum which is the roof of the lateral ventricle this part uh, septum pellucidum i just showed you that's a common medial wall to both the anterior horns now right below the only left over are the lowest arrow is the rostrum is the rostrum now this is very important because uh, this area is almost close to the anterior most edge of the uh, anterior horn little further in front will be the complete boundary namely the genu now this is therefore a very important horizontal sorry coronal section through the rostrum of the uh, lateral ventricle now the posterior horn now here is a horizontal section of the lateral ventricles through the posterior horn i repeat through the posterior horn close to the midline is the splenium and the on either side the force of major on the lateral wall is the optic radiation and on the medial wall you can see a huge prominence that prominence is the calcar avis that prominence is because of a really deep sulcus on the medial side namely the calcarine sulcus now this is a dissected specimen you can see uh, the lateral ventricles both the inferior horn and the posterior horn the hippocampus can be seen in the anterior part of the inferior horn and in the posterior on the bulge that you see is the calcar avis that is the medial wall of the posterior horn now this is yet another horizontal section much much below the level of the interventricular foramen as we conventionally use here both the calcarine sulcus and the calcar avis are very prominently seen you can see the depth of the calcarine sulcus and because of which the elevation raised is the calcar avis
Now let's revisit the MCQs in the light of what we have understood in the previous discussion. Now MCQ number one, the arrow is referring to the head of the chordate nucleus. Head of the chordate nucleus. Septum pellicidum is right in the midline, so this cannot be the septum pellicidum. Fornix is right at the posterior end of this uh, septum pellicidum. On either side, you can see the bulge. Genu is much, much far away. It forms the anterior boundary. Therefore, the most appropriate answer is the head of the caudate nucleus. MCQ number two, we are at the other end of the section. That's the splenium of the corpus callosum. Its lateral extensions is the fornix major, sorry, forceps major. So the other three options are totally away from this area. So it's very clear, it's a very simple MCQ. The MCQ number three, this is a coronal section through the genu of the corpus callosum and therefore the pointed structure here is the genu. Next, slightly behind the previous horizontal section, you can see uh, the rostrum of the uh, This forms roughly the floor of this part of the lateral ventricle. Next, the last MCQ is the calcar avius. This is the calcar avius. It's the prominence raised because of the um, calcarine sulcus. That was an overview of the anterior and the posterior horns of the lateral ventricle. Friends, I'm sure you may have some points to suggest to me as feedback. Here is my email ID. You can write to me on this or better still, you can also write in the blog area immediately uh, after the um, YouTube video immediately below the YouTube video. Now, I'm sure this entire series of lectures has been of some benefit to you. I have des designed these videos to help you mainly to identify structures. I may not have gone into very fine details of each structure. That's the domain of regular theory class. But this is a very focused pre-dissection video. It is ideally to be used just before you start the dissection. You can go through multiple times during the dissection. And subsequently, you can uh, uh, also go through it after the dissection as a revision exercise. Thank you.